What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Creative Conflict. Today we're going to be doing something different because I want to change from doing shorts every day to doing something a little more to what I like to do lately, which is look at weird stuff. And found this article, which is back from something that happened in 2000, but they're reporting it now on May 4th, 2024. It says it smells like trouble. New skunk cape sightings as hotspot for smelly beast this reveal. Researchers insist it's never been disproven. Officials shared where the last three reported sightings of the creature were made. And what the fuck is that article? That's because I have my BPN on. So um, let's look at what this video is showing. This is Dave Shealy. He's a researcher. Okay, already, let's stop for a second. And you see this image right here? That's just a man. I mean, this is clearly a man, probably about six feet tall, estimating the height of this palm tree to be somewhere around 40 to 46, maybe 50 feet. It's like a six foot man. Arms are not long enough to go below the knees, and they curve just like the natural anatomical posture of a man. That's just a man leaning forward. If you can see, just for a second, sorry to backtrack, but just walking like a man, go straight, fully erect. Again, look at the arms, and you can see that they don't go below, barely the hips, which, you know, even our own arms might go a little longer now. They're being curved here, so if you stretch them a little bit further, they still don't even get close to the knees. See, like right there, they're fully elongated arms and they barely get to the thighs which is around where the normal human hand kind of naturally lands for about a six foot guy now bigfoot is purported to be like eight to ten feet tall you know which is more natural that somebody will see a, a bear standing trying to like warn you of their location in front of you and that being like six to ten feet tall so probably you're like oh you know shit, that's huge right so oh i thought it was bigfoot but the skunk cave more than not it has like a black and reddish fur and possibly just like white dirty from the swamp water kind of like the skunk wood it tends to have like uh, the smell of rotten feces and stuff and rotten eggs which they have reported that they've seen on this particular moment um, that they smell that, but that could also be like python eggs that didn't hash, that rotted, etc. Because there's a lot of those there. But just from plain observation of this video, I don't see this is just BS because they know that's not like Bigfoot or Skunk Cape or anybody like that. And this was like an AI mate footage right here of a very buff guy wearing like a hair suit or some sort of look at his muscle right here but again it's just walking like a normal man and that little gate right there going up the hill with the little swag of like a gangster watch yeah no nah, that's not real either um now back to 2000 Dave Shealy and I guess his brother were camping when they recorded this particular image. Ever since then, he's been a researcher of the Skunk Cape. He has a center in Florida for the Skunk Cape, which we hope to visit. And if you guys want to see that or see us go into the Everglades looking for Skunk Cape, then let us know in the comments because 
um, we're trying to prepare for some sort of expedition like that. But as far as this beat is concerned, like what? Okay, so like if you're recording, I mean, unless you're a little kid, oh, okay, yeah, 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 all right. So if you're in the Everglades and it's foggy, we train in the Army Rangers, 3rd Battalion, we train a lot in like the Georgia swamps, the Florida swamps. Um, and so here you can tell <laughs> the person landed on a little bog and lost their footing. They got excited and they were trying to get closer, zoom in. So I like Dave Shealy. And so I'm not going to be sitting here like, oh, this is fake because it's not, it's not a skunk ape or a Bigfoot or any ape for that matter. Not even like a gorilla stance like that. They, they're more hunched down. Um, that's definitely not a bear unless it's like Yogi Bear. <laughs> you know? But in his defense, he saw this. He's young, he's a kid. He was like, what the fuck is that, right? And so they start recording it. And then right here, he tries to zoom in, he gets excited. He steps into the bug. So the camera loses the focus and the angle. He's freaking out. Come on, don't lose it. Come on. And so he's trying to zoom in. Now that arm looks way longer right here. But still, when it swings forward, it's just like right above the knee. It's just the grasses makes it harder to, to tell. It's just like a huge dude, if anything, you know? Yeah, I'd be interested to go there and check it out. Because if it is a person, then we'll find the person in the suit. And if it's not a person, then we'll find this. Because there's no way to hide from a team of, like, you know, researchers or rangers or anybody that goes hunting for you, bro. Like, there ain't no fucking way you can hide. So, and so based on the fact that he reacted all excited and he was trying to get closer and he lost his footing, could happen to, like, an amateur photographer planning a hoax with some friends. But it seems more natural that he really saw something. He got excited, lost his footing, and tried to, like, keep control of the camera. So... Perhaps from his perspective, what he saw appears to be real. Um, but there's a lot of people that live here in the swamp. So when they see people walking around, they, they might have like pranks that they do to scare them away, etc. So, yeah, I mean, I want to try to get in contact with Dave Shealy, see if we can like interview him and see if we can plan an expedition together to go in the swamps and look for this man. <laughs> We'll find this man. Um, yeah, that's clearly a man. Quite slender man. And so if you picture like Bigfoot being like 8 to 10 feet tall and the skunk ape being somewhere between 5 and 8 feet tall, I'm pretty sure more closer to 5. Um, yeah, I don't think that's, an, that's a Bigfoot. You know, and like my super trusty assistant, she can't analyze that. I don't think they can watch footage. Hey, you can't watch that video that they Sheely posted from 2000 and that shows the supposed skunk cape because I think it's just a man walking. Ah, the infamous 2000 skunk ape video. Yeah, it's been a topic of debate among cryptid enthusiasts for a while. Some people argue that it's just a person in a costume yeah. or simply a misidentified animal. No While animal others are convinced it shows a real skunk ape. The footage is... Exactly. <laughs> the graininess of the footage leaves a lot up to interpretation. It's one of those cases where belief in the skunk ape might color how you view the video. Skeptics lean towards it being a hoax or misidentification. While believers see it as compelling evidence. I see it, uh, it that he really saw this. It's just not a real ape. But he, as a kid, he probably did see this. That makes sense. 
it's entirely possible that whoever filmed it genuinely believed they saw something unusual, even if it wasn't a skunk ape. Our minds can play tricks on us, especially in situations where we're primed to expect something mysterious. It could have been a case of misinterpretation, fueled by local legends and a dash of imagination. Hey, say hi to the cryptic conclave. We're doing a video on the skunk ape. <laughs> Hello, cryptic conclave. Get ready to dive into the mysterious world of the skunk ape. Let's explore the sightings, stories, and theories surrounding this elusive creature. Stay curious and keep exploring. Anyway, so yeah, I don't think it's a skunk ape, <laughs> but let's go hunt this guy. And let's figure out what that really is. And if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. If you learned something or enjoy your time with me, then click like and subscribe. And hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the Cryptic Conclave.